Hey, what's up? Macabre Mandy here. And this is not a good video. It's frustrating. Unless you'd like to watch me fail, in which case, carry on. That's what this is. I wanted to record this as a reference. Like, hey, I put in so much effort and I finally, finally got where I was trying to go. I finally got the achievement that I spent three hours of my life on. There, Tower of Babel. It registered seven of 10 chairs. Sure, nine was wobbly, but it should have registered at least eight. The thing about this is it tells me that I should never try this again because as difficult it, as it was, even when it was stable enough to put on that last chair, it never counted. How the hell am I supposed to get 10 stools when I couldn't even get eight to register while it was standing still. How do you do this? So I started off this level optimistic. I was muted because it was noisy and I assumed that I would take many attempts to get this right. Meaning actually getting the achievements achieved. Now the first thing I decided I should probably do is clean. I avoided that last time because I've already completed this level, fun fact, 100% completion already. But I wanted to do some achievements and the next one that I attempted was the stool. It is 10 out of 10. You need to get 10 chairs stacked on top of each other. Now skipping ahead, you can see that I started collecting chairs in the corner. This was to make sure I had exactly 10. So I would know how many I had left before the tower was finished. And along the way I had to clean up even more messes because that is the entire point of this map. And every other Viscera map. You're a janitor cleaning up really bloody messes. It took me a long time to get this room cleaned. As much as I did and there's a whole lot more to clean but as you can see, there's organs, by the way, coming out of the waste bin. That's because random times, you will get organs instead of the bin that you are supposed to get. And then you have to use the bin that you just got to put the organs in when you needed the bin for another area. So it takes even longer. If you don't know because you haven't played this, as you can see, I'm doing a thumbs up. That means I finished cleaning. The story behind this map is essentially there's notes in the office, the little letters that tell you what happened and why this is Santa's revenge. And essentially, he was treating the elves badly. Um, they fought back. They didn't like it. He was going to get sued, to my understanding. And because of that, he decided to flip out. He turned against his elves. Skipping ahead to around 50 minutes, this recording is about an hour and a half long. I had a setup. It was essentially a staircase, which as you can see was flawed and very difficult to use. To jump sideways, otherwise the stool would hit each bin and it could make the entire thing unstable. The idea was that I would just carry it over and from above place the next stool. And eventually, I would get it to a certain height that I could do it from the second floor. Perspective was difficult, and there were a lot of misses. As you can see, it was very stressful. After I placed each stool, I went back down to check out how stable it was. At the time, I thought this was acceptable, so I just left it there. And here I'm trying the stairs again. 
but seeing as it's very difficult to see where I'm going, it quickly did not work out. What I began doing instead was trying to make it so I could get onto it from a little further up on the stairs. Figured that way I could keep the structure I already made and just work from it. I just had trouble figuring out how exactly to make it stable or to fill that gap. As you can see, I decided to start putting them on from on the stairs, which would tell me if it was a good height and also make it easier to place them. When I was done adjusting them, I took a stool and I tried it out. It took a jump and then I could just walk across because they were close enough that they wouldn't collide with each other, but it still counted as me stepping on them. And I'm gonna count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven would be right at the railing. I decided to place another one of these up here. Because from the railing, it was a little bit too far, so it was a little dangerous. It was time to place the last one before going up to the second floor. As you can see, it was not smooth. After struggling for a bit, I settled on this, which is obviously unstable, but I didn't know yet because honestly, once you have about six of them stacked, they wiggle a lot without actually falling down, so I thought I had a little more leeway. Just to double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven chairs at the railing. As you can see, at eight chairs, it was stable. I stabilized it with that last chair. It was no longer wiggling, and it should have counted. I had two left. And yes, I'm recording this while my son is off on the side eating dinner. As you can see, I have two chairs left, and that means I am on number nine. I'm going to mute myself for this part. <laughs> 